welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by me today if you're interested in this hairstyle this cute passion twist that i've been rocking and loving then that video is already uploaded so i'll leave a link in the description below and yeah make sure you guys are following me on instagram thumbs up subscribe share all that good stuff thank you guys again so much and let's just jump right into the video so starting off with my skin, I'll be taking my Fenty Pro Filter Primer. I'm going to use this of my face. This is this has become one of my favorite primers. I've been using it like every day. Then I'm going to take a mix of Fenty and NARS. I use two pumps of Fenty 440 and I have a pump of NARS Dark 3. And I'm going to mix these two together and apply it all over my face. Um, I like these foundation mix together because the NARS add more depth so the Fenty foundation also have to cancel out the redness and I love the finish of both so yeah both mixed together gives me a nice flawless finish if you want more coverage you could always add more foundation I like a medium coverage because by the time I add my powder and stuff it just it's gonna look it's gonna add more coverage so it will look more full coverage okay now I'm gonna take my Too Faced concealer in the shade chestnut I'm gonna apply this under my eye center my forehead bridge on my nose the cupid's bow a little bit on the chin and then we're gonna blend this out and i also use the concealer to blend over my eyelid as an eyeshadow base now after blending out all these areas where i add concealer i'm gonna take the end of the sponge that we use for the foundation and i'm gonna use this just to go over the edges of the where the concealer stops so that everything is more nice and seamless more blended you know what i mean Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier medium deep um, loose powder to set all these areas where I place concealer and yeah I'm just using the retaining sponge just to press over all these areas and then I'll you know blend in all the powder and then sweep away the excess and now I'm moving into the eyes and I'm taking MAC Blackberry eyeshadow and I'm going to use this in the crease just to add some depth to the eyes. So I'm just going to blend it all in the crease. And then I'm going to take MAC Brown Script and I'm going to blend this all over my eyelid. Even over the crease where we put the blackberry. Just to give me like that nice like, you know, a lot of dimension but like soft brown type of make. Type of blown out smoky eye-ish vibe, okay? Now to the start of the show, I'm going to take MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Burning Love. And I'm going to take this in a very thin angle brush. This is the MAC 208 angle brush. And I'm just going to make this brush really um, like razor, sh razor sharp because I already did my skin and stuff. I don't really have the time to clean up. So when you do this, when you make the brush that you're using really, really sharp, it gives you like a nice precise eyeliner. So I'm just going to create me a little wing, nothing too crazy. And then what I'm going to do is take some shadow. This, this is MAC I'm Into It eyeshadow, which is almost the same color as the lipstick. And I'm just going to go over it just to set the lipstick because it is more of a creamy matte. And lipsticks, it will tend to run a little bit if you don't set it because your eyelid is warm. Even though I prepped my eyelid, but I didn't want the liner to look too shiny. So I just go over it with the powder just to make sure that, you know, it stays. Okay, and then I'm going to take Graph Black and I'm going to use this to line my waterline and then apply some lashes and finish up my brows. I'm just going to add some pencil to the end of my brows and this is Matte Deluxe Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And then I'm going to take Colourpop Brow Gel in the shade Soft Brown just to define the hairs and make it look more fuller. And you know, I like me a nice wispy brow. Now I'm going to take the same lipstick as a blush and I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks right just like that and then do the same thing to the other side and whoa yes I get I got carried away on the other side but it's okay I'm gonna blend this out and then just add some more to the other side so it's even and then I'm gonna go into contour and I'm gonna take the darkest shade from the BH Cosmetics and it's my very collaboration and I'm gonna use this just to contour and blend into the blush a little bit yep and yeah uh, it got a little crazy on that side, but it's okay. We're just gonna blend and then add more to the other side I don't know. I was like, what's this my right? Yeah, that was kind of right side heavy in this video I don't know what was going on with my right side, but yeah, we're just gonna blend 
and even out and then i'm gonna take this on the my chin like on the my jawline the contour powder that is i'm also gonna take the brush whatever is left on the brush no excess product i'm gonna use that and run it along the sides of my nose and then i'm gonna go into contour in my forehead and yeah oh before i do that i'm gonna blend the blush again one more time just to make sure that everything is you know blended and seamless now going into the forehead with the contour and yeah it's gonna take you know this is the area of my face that takes me the longest to contour because i like to make especially my forehead is out i like to make sure that it's blended and even and that my forehead actually looks smaller okay because my forehead is out there baby it is out there now i'm going to take my favorite powder okay and this is my l'oreal true match powder in shade c8 and i'm going to use this just to set my entire face and just to blend everything together i know i did things in a different order today like i'm just setting my face with powder but it's okay it's it's all gonna come together it's fine okay mm. it's my little order <laughs> as long as you achieve the look that you're going for okay now going into uh, a uh, second blush which is the mac in extreme dimension hard to get when i apply that on the apples on my cheeks spritz my face with fix plus and then i'm gonna take my makeup sheila highlight um and i'm gonna apply this on the higher points of my cheeks okay this highlight is a lot okay so you're just gonna take a very little bit and just blend unless you like booming highlight i don't like booming highlight and then whatever is left on the brush i run the along the center of my nose and then i highlighted my cupid's bow and now i'm gonna get these uh, lips honey now i'm taking my vino lip liner and i'm gonna take my own little time to line this because whenever i'm doing bold lips i like it to look a certain way which is precise sharp and neat okay so this takes me a minute because i move very slowly and then I like to take, you know, if I make a mess, I take the brush and do that. Then now I'm going to apply the lipstick, the Burn and Love lipstick. These lipsticks are so comfortable, y'all. These are their moisture matte lipstick and they're really comfortable. It stays on very long and it doesn't get as dry as a regular matte lipstick, okay? Now after doing that, I'm going to take the shade I'm into it that I used to set the eyeliner. Blend this under my waterline and then I'm going to take brown script and just diffuse it out and i'm going to take amber lights also from mac and i'm going to use this to highlight my tear duct and yeah then i'm going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes this is always a little messy for me but the tip is if it ever smudges make a mess just let it dry and then you can flake it off okay just like you would flake the mascara off from anywhere else and yeah those are my baby lashes looking bomb this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoy this video by the way this was done during winter this look i'm just late on posting it i almost didn't post this look and then i look at it and i'm like i love this look so much i'm gonna let you guys see it and this color is still like spring summer wear but it's like this deep rose oh my god it looks so good by the way the hair is already uploaded i'll leave a link in the description Thank you guys again so much let me know you like this look down below don't forget to thumbs up comment subscribe and until the next one bye guys